YouTube Frogs. 3.0 is less than two weeks away, and the live stream brought a bunch of new toys for us to tinker with soon. Let's go over what I'm most excited for that Hoyoverse revealed from their live stream. First, we have a slightly deeper reveal on the new reactions upcoming with the Dendro element. We already know of Burning, which is Dendro plus Pyro, and 3.0 will introduce Bloom, which is Dendro plus Hydro, and Catalyze, which is Dendro plus Electro. These are the basic reactions combining Dendro with Hydro and Electro. The Bloom reaction produces these Dendro cores, which basically add more Dendro damage after reacting with Pyro or Electro. Pyro causes AoE Dendro damage, and Electro causes homing shots, which look like single target Dendro damage. The Catalyze reaction looks quite interesting. Enemies are affected by this quickened effect, which essentially marks a brand for Electro or Dendro. The next instance of Electro or Dendro damage gets amplified from reactions called Aggravate and Spread. Catalyze may introduce some strong Electro and Dendro teams considering that the reactions are positive feedback loop, meaning they only need each other and continuously improve the other's damage output. I'm definitely interested in seeing which reactions shape up to be incredibly strong. Next, we've got the upcoming characters for 3.0. We'll be getting Tinari and Kole first half, alongside Dory in the second half. Forgive me if my pronunciation is incorrect. Alright, Tinari. Whoa, what the- Okay, so the main charge shot blooms into four mini charge shots, which all home back to the enemy. So this single shot is five applications of Dendro. Dang. There's a Ganyu. You use your E? Oh, you get free charge shots. Okay, it's literally Ganyu. And this burst is six Boom Boom Pows. They hit, and they explode into six more Boom Boom Pows. It's a 12 hit burst. Oh, I mean, that's a, that's a lot of hits, bro. You know what I feel like, Chet? I feel like this character is not going to be that strong at C0, but he's going to be really strong with more constellations. I just have a feeling with this type of build path, the, the setup is there, but they're probably going to make it only strong if you have multiple constellations. I don't know, Chet. I'm just saying because his burst hits 12 times. Probably small multipliers. His charge shot after an E, you can do three for free, and each one procs a five hit thing. So it's a 15 hit dendro thing. Applications are gonna be really easy with him, but like that's as much as you can do at C0, and then you need to buy constellations to make him like actually like OP. <sighs> probably me, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Tinari is gonna be on standard banner. Okay, he's never mind. Moving on. You know, I was like thinking about all this, like I'm like, that's gonna be so. And then he's like, I for, I remember that he's gonna be put on standard matter. Oh, 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 is Kole not the most basic character? <laughs> she she doesn't do anything. Is she not the most basic character? She literally does like the most generic stuff. Dendro battery, Dendro applier, that's it. But honestly, I feel like Kole is gonna be one of those characters that like you press E for her energy and then that's it. Oh no. Wait, Kole's free. Whoa, I didn't even know that. Oh. Okay, then I maybe just need to get one one Tinari then. Wow. Okay, so the Dude, Dory is actually the most interesting character. Agree or not? Her auto attack, she has that stupid slime thing that attacks for her, right? Like she gets on top of a slime and the slime goes Claymore whack 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 a mole. Right, so she's not even the one attacking. And then and then her elemental skill, she brings out a gun and K-Kona's them. And then get generates energy. And then for her burst, she summons a lamp. And that lamp like sucks you and gives you HP and like a little bit uh, like energy. I don't know how much energy. But like I'm assuming a little bit because like otherwise it'd be broken. You know what I'm saying? And then like it zaps them too. No, you suck the lamp. Is the lamp not sucking? Wait, what? 
，江莲的灯中佣金会为他们持续恢复生命值与元素能量。Oh, you are sucking the lamp. Okay, this lamp's not sucking you. Okay, never mind. Okay, okay, you're sucking the lamp. Never mind. Then we also have the new weapons and artifacts coming to 3.0. We have Tinari's signature bow, the five-star hunter's path, alongside what is highly likely to be an event-free four-star bow, end of the line. Tinari is looking to be a Dendro DPS, so it'll be interesting to see how Hunter's Path is going to maximize that for Tinari, given how many DPS five-star bows we already have in the game. Considering Skyward Harp, Polar Star, Almost Bow, Thundering Pulse, and Aqua Simulacra, Hunter's Path is going to have to be stronger than all of these options, at least specifically for Tinari. We also have five new craftable Sumeru weapons with no additional details. I'm looking to see if any of these shape up against the current choices that we have from Mondstadt and Liyue. Maybe once we get additional details, I can cover this more in depth. Uh, Deepwood is literally just Tinari. Agree? Agree. Selfish Viridescent. Dendro bonus 15%, 4 piece is Dendro res down. Gilded Dreams. Okay. How do you guys feel about Gilded Dreams, bro? Either either you get 230 elemental mastery or 80 EM and 42% attack or a mix in between. Both of these artifact sets are selfish. Agree or not? They're not supportive artifacts. Both of these artifacts are literally just for the character. They don't buff <sighs> any of your teammates. Gilded is a complicated set, but it do, it is high uh, it is high stat stick for a 4 piece, right? Two pieces just wanders two piece. And then the four piece is like up to 42% attack, which is quite nice for two piece. Deep wood, four piece, you could just throw on a uh, poopy face and then the target's dendro res will be down. Kind of weird how deep wood works. Because like the two piece dendro damage bonus is like Lamal XD, right? Because if you put it on a non dendro, then that character just becomes your dendro res down. And it's like the dendro is like, well, what? These, these artifacts are pretty, pretty uh, XD. I'm not gonna cap, dude. And finally, a major upgrade to the Artifact Strongbox series that I know you guys love to watch. We have a full new set of pre-1.2 artifacts that are going to be offered through the Strongbox. We have Thundering Fury Domain Artifacts, Fearless Inventor Domain Artifacts, Geo Domain for Petra and Bolide, Crimson Witch Domain Artifacts, and Blizzard and Heart of Depth Domain Artifacts. Essentially what this means is that you guys can focus farming on newer artifacts, like for example, Inazuma artifacts still, or the Dendro artifacts, without feeling the need to ever go back to those older dungeons. I'm looking hardcore at the Crimson Witch Domain, which remains one of the strongest universal pyro sets that has one of the most annoying enemy domains. I have yet to get some nice pieces from there, so you may see a couple or more episodes of the Strongbox over there. And, of course, the Dendro Goblet Hunt. I also have my eyes set on that one. My YouTube Frogs will be seeing episode 12 and 13 happen though, before the first Sumeru Strongbox, which we will anticipate to begin at episode 14. I'll be packing my artifact inventory to the brim for the chance at some juicy goblets. And there you have it. Unless I miss something, those are the crucial updates that I'm looking forward to to 3.0 and content for my channels. Story and events will be casually done on my stream. You guys know where to find me. Besides that, I hope you guys enjoy the video and are looking forward to Sumeru adventures. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care.